there are some designs that when you see it you might think the process will be very difficult but trust me they are not the most nicest designs beaded of beaded bags they have the simplest method and this bag is one of them trust me so please sit back and enjoy the video let's jump right into it okay so you need your thread your fishing line which is 0.7 mm your scissors and of course your bead these are 8 mm cube shaped beads you can use any i mean color of your choice okay so i will start by picking four beads to start my bead marten and so as you already know when you pick four you definitely cross the fourth one and so we are going to cross the fourth one with the other side of the thread so when you are starting like this it doesn't matter where you place those four beads it can be right it can be left okay uh -huh. but after the first step like if you have this one the next step is where you separate your threads and so you pick three beads one on the left one on the right and then you cross the third bead and it continues like that so we're going to repeat this second step 15 times okay so we have two so we need 13 more so you continue by picking three one on the left one on the right and then you cross the third bead as you seen in the video okay so you're going to be doing this 15 times and so here I have my three already done and so I will leave you to do the rest and let's meet at the end okay so here we are I have my 15 so I'm going to do the last one and then with that last one I'm going to turn with it so I'll pick the three but this time around I'll put two on one side of the thread and then cross the third bead hope that was clear you put you pick three you put two on one side instead of one here one here you put two on one side and then you cross the third bead with the other side of the thread is that okay now to start the second row you pick three as well you put two on the left thread and then you cross the third bead with the right thread if you have your work positioned like this otherwise vice versa okay so the next and then the most important thing to note to get this shape is that after the first step of the second row the second step you're going to enter two beads at a go like i have just done we are entering two beads okay so these two beads you enter those two beads at a go and then you pick two beads and then you cross the second bead hope that was well explained when you're starting the second row the first one you do the normal step like i've shown by the second step of the second row that is where you pay you enter two and then you pick two okay and then from here you continue with the you enter one you pick two you continue with the normal um four units be of four rings okay a ring of four let me put it that way so the second one was a ring of five so it's made up of five beats but from there you continue with the four four uh, rings that we've been making okay so you continue with the four for you enter one you pick it two okay so you get here and here we are so when you are left with three beats okay at the other end when you are left with three beats you enter two so i had already entered one so i entered the other one to make it two so when you get to the other end when you have three beats left at the other end you enter two of it and then you pick two so that you have a ring of five like we had in the beginning and then you enter the next bead and now on that same thread that we entered the bead with that the one i'm pointing at we are going to fix two beads on it to make a ring of four okay hope that's understood please pardon me for any noise you hear in the background okay so the next thing is to start the third row and then to start the third row we are picking three you put two on the top side of the thread and then you cross the third bead so with this one we are not going to put a ring of five anyway it's just going to be a ring rings of four throughout this row so the first row we did we didn't add any five ring um five beads ring 
and then the second row is where we introduce the ring of five okay and then the third row we are not introducing any ring of five it's just rings of four throughout hope that is well explained and you understand it very well other than that you can let me know in the comment section okay and then i'll respond to you so when you are done with the third row like i said we are not adding any ring of five anywhere so i did the four rings throughout and so here i'm going to turn to start to end the third row and to start the fourth row so to end the third row i'll pick two beads fix one on the left side of the thread and then you cross the second bead and then your third row is complete now to start the fourth row so this is where we are going to increase uh, to add the ring of five so the first step you would add it okay so the first step you just pick three you put two on the left side of the thread and then you cross the third bead like i have done next is where you enter two beads okay so you enter these two beads and then you pick two beads to make that ring of uh, ring five beads okay hope that's clear so here we are making a ring of five so with the rings of five you introduce it or you do it on the even rows like we did it on the second row so second row and then the fourth row so with the odd rows like one three five seven we are not introducing any ring of five but on the rows on the even rows like two four six and eight which is going to be the last row we will introduce the ring of five hope that is uh, well explained and well understood other than that you can let me know in the comment section you can reach out to me via my whatsapp or any other social media platform all the links are in the description box so don't hesitate to let me know let me hear from you okay and please subscribe if you have not okay now i wanted to show you the last time so you get to know now when you get to once again when you get to the other end where you have three beats left you enter two at a go okay you enter two so you can enter one and then two not like at a go not really like you have to force to pass the th uh, the be thread through the two beats at once no you just have to enter the two beats and then you pick two to make that ring a ring of five beats okay and then you end the row by picking two beats you fix one on the right thread okay and then you cross the second bead so one thing i want you to notice that i keep turning my work okay and so with every instruction that i i say or i lay out you have to make sure that you have you are in the right position just not to be confused okay so this row we are going to do rings of five uh, sorry sorry <laughs> rings of four throughout we're going to be doing rings of four throughout as it is the fifth row okay the fifth row so yeah i made a mistake but <laughs> pardon me so i had to take three but i took four uh -huh, so yeah it's not that we we don't make mistakes we do may i make mistakes especially when i'm working and i'm, I'm talking with someone okay uh -huh. so a little disturbance we will get so if you don't realize it you'll have to lose all of it at the end of the day okay so you have to be pay pay attention yeah so so this is the fifth row and then we are doing rings of four through out no rings of five anywhere so when you are done with this one and you are starting the sixth row is where you introduce your ring of five and then when you're doing the seventh row two you wouldn't have to introduce any ring of five but when you're doing the last row which is the eighth row is where you introduce your rings of five okay so here i have five rows done and all we need eight rows okay so i'm going to do those um three rows off camera and then i'll come back to show you the end result 
and this is it this is what you should have so here i have eight at the top so we started with 16 we have eight and at the side is also eight okay so yes yeah, you also you can improvise it okay you can make it you can start with 80 you can start with 20 if you want it to be much bigger than this one it just depends on you so here i'm going to build the side okay i am going to build the size you can use the same color for the size but i decided to use white because the blue i had left won't be wouldn't be enough for the size so i went in for white and then trust me it turned out real real very nice as you've seen in the very beginning of the video it turned out really nice okay please subscribe subscribe i am here to teach you everything you need to know about beat making for free okay so all that you need to do to help me out to help you is to subscribe you hit on the notification bell so whenever i upload a video you'll be able to see okay so i'm going to do this size off camera and i will come back to show you the end result so here i was done with the first row but you need two sides of it as you know bags they are made of two sides so there's one side and then i made one side one row for the side but i already made the other side and then as you've seen i attached a handle already and then build three rows for the sides so that when i join it to the other one i'll have five rows for the sides okay and then look at this okay so i just decided to play with my beats you can do anything you want like how you want it to be you can design it in your own way okay and then for the handle you can use any handle of your choice you can use metal chain any handle of your choice okay so yeah so let's just um join these two pieces together and that will be the last thing for this tutorial okay so if you found this video very helpful like i've said earlier please subscribe like comment i reply to comment as soon as i see it i seen as you to give me the notification okay so do well to leave your comments and then trust me those who have been reaching out to me on whatsapp i've been responding to them and then you can also follow my whatsapp channel the link is also in the description box because that is where we decide on which tutorial we want to do and then you can send me a video if bag you want me to do a tutorial on and then i will share if i have two or more i will share it in the community and we will all vote as to which one comes first i mean it's going to be an interesting community there so please do well to join those of you who have already joined please have patience i'm waiting for a, a small amount of number to add up so that we can be interactive as possible okay so here you just have to continue joining it so here we are joining it one one as you've seen i know this is not the first time doing this so you guys are much familiar with this step with joining two sides together and i'm also um going to do the rest of camera and here we are look at how it turned out i mean the the white popped out the blue i mean it's given some odogu vibes you know some rich hunty vibe you get it so here yeah, let me give you the details and all that you need okay okay so yeah please see you in my next video okay bye bye